this frame is mostly nectar. This frame is heavy. Oh my goodness. So they already have capped some honey or some nectar cells, which means they've put the nectar in and had it in long enough to be drying it. What I need now is to see if there are also eggs and larvae here. I do, I see larvae. All right, I'm gonna see if the camera will show it. Down inside some of those cells, and the, I'm at the wrong angle for the light to be good. But inside some of those cells are some nice sized larvae. I can see them very plainly. All right. So with that, it would be nice to be able to spot the queen, but I am completely satisfied if I don't. No queen here. And this side appears to be resources only. Alright. So I'm going to put that back down. And what that suggests to me is that if the queen is not on this frame, she's probably on the very next frame that I'm about to pull because it is adjacent. Lots and lots and lots of bees in this next frame. don't see the queen yet, but I do see lots more larvae. Lots more larvae. Plenty of resources. Oh, and I have capped brood. Now, capped brood, I'm going to show this frame. We have capped brood here, which is not the same as capped honey. Um, it's in that center section with a slightly bubbled appearance. And it's surrounded by larvae that's not quite ready to be capped. What that indicates is we've got bees that have gone into their uh, metamorphosis stage and they're gonna be changing into full-blown adult bees soon. You can also see I've got a couple of bee, or one bee there, just with pollen loaded all over her legs. If I'm going to spot the queen then, it's on this last frame. 
And like I say, I'm not disappointed if I don't because, man, with all the larvae that I've seen, I know this, this hive is doing well. Another really, really heavy frame. It's funny with so many bees loaded with so much pollen. Oh, there's the queen. Let me show you the queen. She's right up near the top of this frame. Has a nice yellow dot on her back. There she is, her royal highness. I hope I, I can't see what I'm capturing on the camera, so I hope that's coming through. Queen is alive and healthy. Staying right at the end of the box. We've got capped honey, we've got resources, I see little bitty eggs, everything is very happy. Now I've got my eye on the queen as I lower this back in. She's in probably about the safest place she could possibly be. There's really not a way. that I could crush her. I believe the bees knew that that frame was the one that the queen was on. Got a little agitated there for a minute. A lot of, a lot of bees in the air, but they're not trying to sting me. Got a couple of them trying to warn me, up, warn me off, so I'm gonna step away a little further, let them calm down. <laughs> Okay, I have seen absolutely everything I hoped for. I'm just going to seal them back up. See if they'll tolerate my presence here just a little bit longer. So now, just have this frame to put back in place. And we'll slide, uh, actually I'll kind of bring the feeder out. No, I'm not. It'll be easier to have it right there.
that's it.